Yes, Eric. Well, the National Weather Service recommends people not be outdoors during the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. tomorrow through Sunday. And we have seen some people outdoors today enjoying the sunshine, going golfing right before we hit those triple digits. But one doctor tells me that we should really take this heat risk tomorrow through Sunday seriously. I think sometimes people from the from Sacramento think, well, Hidden Falls is up in the hills, so it must be cooler. And that's not always true. These 1,200 acres of Hidden Hills Regional Park will be closed to the public from Friday to Sunday. That's thanks to the first triple digits of the year. Hidden Falls is in the lower foothills, and it can get pretty warm in the summer. There are a total of 43 Placer County parks and beaches, but Hidden Valley is the only one closed the next few days. A part of the reason is all this dry vegetation you see right here. Regional Park is a lot of land area between the valley and the foothill communities, and so we've always taken fire risk very seriously. Placer County's Andy Fisher says they also take increased heat risk during this weekend seriously, as the National Weather Service has issued an excessive heat warning for the foothills region. We would recommend really for, you know, patients that are elderly or the very young, Really staying in a, indoors in an air-conditioned space is the best. Kaiser Permanente's Dr. Eric Hoffman says when temperatures are this hot, people can be at risk of heat-related illness, like heat exhaustion, which causes a combination of water and salt depletion. Water depletion is from excessive sweating. Um, salt depletion actually is from when patients are drinking too much water and trying to replace that and they're not drinking enough salt, sugar, things like that to replace a lot of the salt loss that they're having. Some of the symptoms listed here include excessive sweating, vomiting, and muscle cramping. It's in these cases you want to get a person cool fluids with electrolytes. You don't want to give them just water because you can really decrease their sodium levels. Um, you can apply cold towels or ice packs to the neck, um, to the forehead, or to the armpits, really to cool them down. And Dr. Hoffman says that heat stroke is also a possibility. It has similar symptoms to heat exhaustion, but a person experiencing this could also have a fever above 104 degrees Fahrenheit and can also experience stroke-like symptoms such as confusion or delirium. He says this is a potentially life-threatening situation. This is a situation where you would want to call 911 immediately. In Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Kristen Barton, Fox 40 News.